Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. Today is not really a project per se, but playing around with a new laser and figuring out some of the settings you might need to do some really cool stuff with like say cork, uh, granite, and even paper. Um, so if you wanna see how I do it, stick around. Alright, yeah, so uh, I'm not too happy on how this is coming out, so I'm going to try it again. It looks like <clears throat> what's actually happening is I'm burning it too long, like it's, um, it's the uh, movement's not quick enough and it's causing the cork to burn, which is causing these little flare-ups on the outside and not really crisp lines. So I'm going to flip this piece over and try it again at uh, 200 inches per minute instead of the 100 that I originally started and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Man, I love trying new things no matter what it is. So, uh, you know, I went into this not knowing how to do any laser on cork. So I was like, well, let's try the wood settings, which is at 100 inches per minute with a zero uh, step over. And this is what you end up with. So this is the bottom part of the Georgia logo. And all this is just from flare up. So it actually burned enough where it, the, the fire burned out and got this effect. So knowing that, I went into the second one with a step over of 0 0.025 and I got this, uh, sorry here, I got this, which got still got flare ups. So I decided to go back and try it at 200 inches per minute and that's where we started seeing some, some really finer lines. Um, and then I concluded it with a I concluded it with a uh, 200 inches per minute with a 0 0.03 step over, and this is what we get here, and it just looks it just looks gorgeous. I mean, um, maybe just a hair of a flare up from time to time, but all in all, this I think this is the right setting for the cork, uh, this kind of cork. So, well, let's see if we uh, can step it up a little bit more. What do you say? <laughs> All right, so my final thoughts. Um, what have I learned? Well, I mean, this is kind of the first time I've used a laser. I mean, you guys saw it in a previous uh, video put doing it on wood, but I've never actually done things like cutting things out of paper and whatnot. So it took me quite a few challenges um, or attempts to uh, like, this is a, a piece of paper here that I cut. It burned on the S. Uh, here's another one that burned on the S. This one didn't burn all the way through. Um, there's just a lot of tweaks uh, to try it, but finally, I was able to get it pretty spot on. And um, really what you had to do is actually slow it down enough to cut the first time around. Um, the other ones I actually did multiple uh, laps around and it didn't give enough time to cool the paper down. So 
that that caused a big issue and then the second thing i did was i added a piece of flat aluminum which i like to have the honeycomb but a flat aluminum um, will allow this to uh, cool down a little bit quicker and i actually get a nice consistent thing so with paper surprisingly you actually want to go slower when you what i thought actually you want to go faster it's actually you want to go a lot slower so that was pretty cool the um the cork on the other hand you saw like when you go slower you get these burns you actually want to go super fast to get um, a nice consistency there which this turned out really awesome and then one of my favorites <clears throat> is this piece of granite Let's see if i can get it right there um this is just standard granite that you can buy at home depot or lowe's um this is a granite tile that i went through and burned into it so this took a long time i think it was at 10 inches per minute and uh, f uh with a um a 50 percent step over so this this took a long time somewhere around four hours i think uh to finally do it but man look at that and that just that's just really cool, really cool. So, but uh, hopefully you guys learned something. This wasn't necessarily a project per se, um, but it was a lot of me just tinkering and learning a lot, and I wanted to share you share with you the things that I learned. So I, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.